right, so today we are doing a walking vlog tour of West Seattle. We'll do Admiral and Alki, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? My name's Toba Williamson. This is Leah Zamir from Guild Mortgage. And we shoot tons of videos of what it's like to live in the Seattle metro area. So if you're moving to Seattle, looking to buy a house, give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle. All right, so today we are in West Seattle. And West Seattle is a pretty big kind of area and there's a bunch of neighborhoods within West Seattle. Um, so we're in Admiral, which is kind of like the northern part of West Seattle. And then we're gonna hit up Alki also, which is on the beach, mm -hmm. which is a fun area too. Was West, I forget there's like some facts because Seattle burned down in yeah. that big fire. Yeah. And then that's when they kind of up and made West Seattle, right? I don't or I'm know. failing completely. <laughs> we will fact me. check that. But I know like, so West Seattle is west of downtown Seattle, hence the name. A big bridge connects it. Mm -hmm. The Duwamish Waterway kind of separates West Seattle from the rest of the city. The West Seattle Bridge was closed for a while. Yeah, it was not a. Uh, it was not. It was a safety hazard. Yeah. So they closed it, it was, down. Luckily, it was during COVID, so yeah. people didn't have to go into work every day. So they finally repaired it. When it first broke and it was COVID, they were like, "Yeah, like." Closed. We're yeah. not fixing it. Sorry. So property prices went down a little bit because it's terrible. Like a normal 15 minute. I live in North Seattle and used to come down and then go west <laughs> <laughs> to go to West Seattle. And it took 15 minutes. And then when the bridge is closed, it took an hour, an hour and a half. So yeah, it was terrible. Thank God I almost it's better. like cried when the West Seattle Bridge opened back up. It's so much easier to get around. Yes. So anyways, this is Admiral, um, California <coughs> Ave Southwest is kind of like the main drag that goes through West Seattle. That's where all of the shops and stores are. So um, Admiral's got a ton of cute little restaurants. There's Arthur's Breakfast Bar, you can kind of see across the way. There's other stuff. Isn't Bakery Nouveau on yes, California? It's further down. Well, that's like the best bakery in ever. the world. So <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, she did train in France, and the double baked croissants are literally to die for. Okay, so yeah, we've got like Mission Cantina, West Wing, just a bunch of different cool little restaurants, very walkable neighborhood. West Seattle also has like, they're very, they're kind of like Ballard in like the way they just exclude themselves they're in yeah. their own little community like if you're a west seattleite yeah like you you don't count as a west sider or an east sider you're just oh, yeah. your own thing west seattle they're like ride or die like yeah like west seattle for life <laughs> it's true so, yeah but what do we got here the admiral theater so a little movie theater i don't know if you can see kind of cute um there's tons of restaurants asian we also should say Today is November. Yes, it is November. That's why there's no sun out. It's cold. And but we scheduled our videos today because it's raining for the next week, yeah, starting yeah, tomorrow. So you get this the area. There's a lot of condos, like along um, California. You'll see a lot of condos and townhouses mm -hmm. being built. And then further off on the side neighborhoods, there's more single-family homes. A lot of the cool old like. 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Maybe let's go down this way. We can yeah. walk on some neighborhoods. Um, so we'll go down kind of the side street here to show some houses in the area. But Admiral's become very popular, again, because it's very walkable. Schools are highly rated. Tons of cute shops and restaurants, parks. Um, and it is its own little city in the city, yeah, too. Yeah, it is. Like, so. you have, if you don't need to go into, like, downtown Seattle, you have everything you need here in West Seattle. Mm -hmm. So, no sense in going anywhere. But if you do need to commute to downtown Seattle, you're on the bridge, which is not ideal. It kind of gets trafficy. But there's a uh, water taxi that goes across the water and drops you off in downtown Seattle. So if you work downtown, you can take that. And that's foot only, right? Yeah, it's yeah. only, or I think you might be able to take bikes on there, but. Oh yeah, but I mean, no cars. Yeah, no cars. It's like 10, 10, 15 minutes. 
the ferry, so not too bad. It's um, kind of a nice commute, in my opinion. Like, yeah. You get a little pretty refresher every day. Yeah, and then you don't day. have to like sit in traffic. Here, maybe we'll walk down this way. This is a good one. Yeah, so just to show kind of the streets, very nice like um, sidewalks. I don't know why I always like living near a 7-Eleven. <laughs> you can buy your lotto tickets and your, and, your, and your gross snacks. I just tried dark chocolate Rolos with salted caramel in it. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> it was really good. I love Rolos. <laughs> yeah. so, These yeah, are I mean, cute. Like, super cute. New construction, kind of like farmhouse style townhouses. Oh, these are way more stylish than some of the others I've yeah. seen. Yeah. Super cool houses. Hi. And you see a lot of these in West Seattle, like these little classic brick Tudor styles, which are really popular. Um, so home prices around here, you're looking at, I mean, condos, depending on the size, start anywhere maybe in the four, five, six hundred thousand. A lot of the new townhouses that are being built start anywhere in like seven to eight hundred thousand. And then single family homes, I mean, big ones like these, you're looking at, you know that one, but bigger ones like these, you're looking at a million dollars pretty easy in this area um there's a lot of kind of smaller starter homes here too like little two bedroom one bath yeah. doors that you can find for less maybe depending on the condition like starting at like 700 maybe but yeah it's just a really look at these houses just so charming and then you've got apartments over there so yeah, what else about West Seattle facts? We um, have a really good yoga Pilates studio mm -hmm. called Breathe Hot Yoga. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> I like these shout outs, like <laughs> these business owners are going to say anything. But if you go, I went here because if you come to visit, you could go there and yeah. have like see what it would be like to live there on the weekend, like go to yeah. a little yoga class. There's Al, well, I guess we're going to Alki next. Yeah, we'll hit up Alki next. So it's kind of like the main, I feel like a lot of touristy <clears throat> areas, it's along the beach. I feel like it reminds me of like little mini California. Yes, totally. And the sand there was trucked in, I think, from California. I don't think it's I thought it was natural. Hawaii. Oh, really? Or I thought Alki was the only real one or Is something. It? Maybe it's I don't Golden know. Gardens. Yeah, Golden Gardens know. they bring in. We'll look it up. Yes. That's the real deal. Stay tuned <laughs> for where the sand came from. This nice, quiet. I love these little houses up on the streets. stepper. Yeah. And West Seattle, I mean, I feel like back in the day, like pre COVID, when the Seattle market was still pretty crazy, West Seattle is kind of like the cheaper place to go. Where yeah. People would be like, oh, I can't afford this neighborhood in Seattle. I'll go to West Seattle. And now it's like, just as expensive as anywhere else in Seattle, I feel like. Yeah. It's not really any cheaper necessarily. So. Well, because there's all, I think all the southern, uh, all the south <laughs> communities get more and more cool things. Like, yeah. you know, we're going to check out White Center and Burien and stuff on another day, but those neighborhoods are getting more and more populated, nicer amenities. Yeah. And so this becomes the closest city to all yeah. of that. And getting the airport's real easy from this we'll place as well. Yeah, the airport here I feel like is easy because you're a lot closer, you're a lot further south to connect to it, so that is kind of nice. And there are buses too that will connect you to downtown if you don't want to drive. Um, I can't remember if it's the C line, E line. That's like a rapid ride that comes in. I think light rail will be coming here. Yeah, eventually, and it's like, like when you slotted know. out in the yeah, 2030s. I don't remember when. I know it's been like a big, I don't know, kind of contention for some people. Yeah. Look at this cool old building. Love it. Good eclectic. Look at this plant. What's happening oh, here? Cool. Very eclectic it's fuzzy. Because you see a lot of. Um, mid-century houses also here like mid-century and then like turn of the century a little bridal store for getting married and you want to spend a lot of money oh glitter 
and then back at this little place where we just started out. We'll go by its little cute coffee shop, really good coffee, and Mio Posto, really good um, pizza, pizza place. So, next step, we will hit up, there it is, super cute, little salon over there. Um, but next up, we'll hit up Alki. So stay tuned. So here's a beautiful view for whoever lives here. Heading down to Bon Air Drive. Yeah. Oh. It's, like, it's like Narnia. I know. far out, you probably can't really see them on this video, but there. Oh, yes. um, now this is Alki Drive. And my partner goes crabbing right out there during the season. Nice. It's quite cool. You can just go out and grab like four or five crabs you can swim deep enough, cook them up, save you some money for your million dollar house if you live out here. Yeah. So yeah, a bunch of apartments, but then also little kind of beach bungalow things too. All right, so we are at Alki Beach right now, Alki Beach Park. Um, you can see the beautiful water behind us. This is salt water. It's part of Puget Sound, so it's really cold. People don't really swim here in the summer. Maybe. Unless you have a wetsuit. If you're crazy. Or you're a kid, because somehow think, their temperature controls are different. I almost want to say they do like a polar bear plunge here. Oh, for the, sure. On New Year's, Year's Day. Yeah, so if you want to do that and freeze, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> so we just cruised the kind of strip of Alki that you'll see. This is the beach park. This is like a little, like, I don't even know what to call it, a park house thing. I think you can like rent it for parties and stuff. It's mm -hmm. a public part of the parks. And then you can see behind, you've got the islands, the ferries, you got Bainbridge Island over there. There's a really cute island that's in between, like, I think Blake Island is that one, right? Yeah. And yeah. you, it's a ferry, you can ferry there and it's a camping only island. So yeah. you can either boat or ferry and then there's and a then little restaurant. Just right above my head, you can barely see the Space Needle right there. But if you keep cruising on Alki Drive, it kind of goes around the other side and you get really good views of downtown Seattle from there. And that's also where Leah mentioned Salty's is and the um, water taxi takes off from over there. So this is, oh, we never looked it up, but there's the sand <laughs> that oh. might be, <laughs> Leah's gonna look it up now, there that we might go. be from Washington or California or Hawaii. Okay. Yeah, this little thing, they just revamped this. It looks way better. It used to be kind of run down and stuff, but they like refinished it. And I think, yeah, it's like public kind of thing. You can rent it out for weddings or birthday parties or whatnot. So, kind of cool. And then like I said, volleyball is a big deal here. In the ah. summertime, it's crazy. So the original layer is Seattle, okay. but because there's not a lot of waves that come in, we have to get imported sand as a dressing top layer oh. to help the beach look maintain it. It's okay. done by the Parks Department. So Interesting. thanks Parks Department <laughs> for giving us sitable sand. <laughs> <laughs> Make it nice. And it is, um, I feel like the tide is high. Normally the beach is a little bit bigger. I think it's high tide right now. Maybe. And then across the way you can see just all the, there's a bunch of little restaurants and shops and apartments around here. So this is super hopping in the summer. There's like a motorcycle like gang that cruises Alki in the summer too. <laughs> and then like ride right around and they have like mohawks on their helmet. It's kind of nice to be out here right now because <laughs> know, there's quiet. no one. Like in the summer when the weather's nice, it's nuts here. 
like the first nice day, it's just yeah. insanity. People flock to the beaches. Yeah. Our, we have like, I don't know, four. I was Matthews Beach, yeah. Golden Gardens, Alki, Magnuson. Seward, Seward Park. Park has one. Yeah. Oh, look, this is like a little mini Statue of Liberty. It's the only other one in the United States. Just kidding. Her head. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Super nice and peaceful. Yeah, the first 60 degree day we get here, people are out in shorts and sunbathing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love there's that meme where it's like, Californians at 60 degrees yeah. and they're dressed like we are today. <laughs> and then Washingtonians at 60 degrees. They're like tank tops, yeah. sunbathing, like literally. Oh, I'm people sweating. People sunbathing in the park. Yeah. <laughs> 60 degrees. Anything Holy to get a yeah. little color. <laughs> yeah, our vitamin D deficient bodies, I think we need. There's no need to need. get that tested here. You always get I, I've never heard of anyone saying they have enough vitamin and D. But deficient. honestly, I've never heard of anyone. I feel like I heard anybody really in like, unless you're in like the southern states, like everybody's just vitamin D deficient. I know, but I don't even know that I've seen people in like LA be not vitamin D yeah. deficient. I think our body just stopped caring about it. Because we don't gotta take those vitamins. Get out enough. People are on their devices. Watching the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> get out in the sun. Say, <laughs> get some for us. And then look, we got a little hut right there. Little shelter in case it starts storming. A lot of joggers, bike riders up there. Yeah. Even in today, maybe the joggers. All right. What else? Well, houses. So houses are going to be a little more expensive in yeah. Alki than yeah. Admiral because it's a very desirable area. Yeah. A lot of apartments. And then, yeah, I mean, things here start to like million EV and this Alki way like I'll show a map of West Seattle but it's kind of like this little point and then it goes down mm -hmm. and so all along and then it turns into like Beach Drive and so all along there I and mean, it's gonna be way yeah. more expensive anytime we're closer to the water and have water views. I would say twi twice as much starting. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember the but cheap, one of the cheapest places at waterfront property. Right. I, I mean across the west coast you know. Yeah. I feel like the further over in some of those areas you get, it's a little cheaper. Too. Yeah. Cold orchard. Yeah. Get my head up. Yeah, I have a client on. Let's do a panorama. Can't see my gray hairs right at the tip of the top. Yeah, very dog friendly here Should too. Walk down these steps. These ones? Yeah. Okay. I got my waterproof shoes on. Good. Good. A little stairway here. If you move to Seattle, you have to buy Sorrells. Yeah. I think Sorrels. we're both wearing them. <laughs> yeah. I like <laughs> little steps down. Oh yeah, that is high tide. That's normally yeah. you have beach to walk on there. Yeah, that's normally a beach, but it's a little cold to go swimming today. Not enough tides to turn those rocks into sand. For yeah. So yeah, this is part one. We'll do two West Seattle vlogs. So this is part one, Admiral. Okay, kind of the northern tip of West Seattle. So if you're thinking of moving to West Seattle, anywhere in Seattle, Seattle metro area, give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle.